Hey everybody, it's Sam with Daily Sports Betting Overtime and wanted to go ahead and, and put out a podcast. Some of you have stated that you don't know when the bets are going to go up on the Overtime Network.com. And so you, you check it every once in a while and sometimes you forget to check it and you're not getting the bets the way you want to. And some of you wrote in yesterday about that, and I said, you know, I really need to go ahead and just do daily podcasts and just not worry about it. That's why we call it the Daily Sports Betting Overtime Podcast. And I have been uh, writing a lot more and doing some other things for some other sites, and I realized that I need to start doing podcasts regularly on the different bets. So I didn't get around to it yesterday. I just need to get in the habit when I enter my bets into the different online sports books and type up, you know, the articles, then just do a podcast. Or if I'm going to wait and do the article later, then I need to just go ahead and do the podcast then. So yesterday, Saturday, 7 and 15 on soccer bets, 5 and 0 on PGA golf tour head to head bets, 3 and 5 on the basketball tournament, 16, 8 and 2 pushes on baseball. So that's kind of where we stood. Yesterday, we were 41, 28 losses, two ties for 58%. The soccer bets are the ones that I kind of keep pounding you guys on, not to get you involved in soccer, but to get you guys into kind of plus money. Since March, I'm, uh, or excuse me, since the beginning of the month, I'm 86 and 82 on soccer bets. And so that is, you know, where I'm pushing you guys because even though I'm 86 and 82, I'm up, I don't have it in front of me, three or four units, I think, in soccer because of plus money. Plus money in soccer can help you revive yourself or to keep your bankroll going when you're losing and on cold streak in some other sports. So that's the reason why I try to encourage you guys that. So what I want to do is start off today with Mexican soccer. Told you guys I'm learning Mexican soccer. As uh, many of you saw, uh, I think it was Friday, Thursday or Friday, I was one in three in Mexican soccer. And really went back, redid some numbers on teams, and on Friday I was three and one. And then, like I said yesterday, when Mexican soccer, I was three and one also. So um, it's the MLS bets right now that I'm in the process of making sure numbers are matching my eye test. So in Mexican soccer, 8 o'clock tonight, Sunday night, Pachua versus Pumas Unan. It's all capitals, U-N-A-M. Puma, Unam, that's what you're looking for on the online sports books. It's the only Mexican soccer game tonight. Um, I'm taking Pachua. I got them on the money line at minus 135, and then I'm going to go over 2.5 at minus 115. The Pumas team, I've only seen play, I think, once. Um... 
I wasn't impressed with them. Their record, ugh, not real impressive. So that's why I'm going with Petula. Um, so if you guys want to fade me on this, I totally understand. Or if you don't want to play it at all. MLS Soccer Tonight, we had the big slate yesterday um, with only four bets, I think, in um, Mexican soccer. Then you saw 28 different bets in MLS soccer yesterday. So today we've only got two matches, four bets, and at 8 o'clock you've got both teams plus money. So at 8 o'clock you've got Austin FC, which I'm taking on the money line at plus 125 against the New York Red Bulls. Guys, I know the Red Bulls, uh, beginning of the season, pretty tough, uh, or at least looked pretty tough. However, this Austin FC team seems to be clicking at kind of the right time. Um, I think with Austin FC playing well in Austin with that heat wave that, it, that has been coming on is also going to make the difference. So taking Austin FC, going over two and a half goals at minus 125. Guys, they're MLS teams that just flat out score. And there are certain games that you know are going to score because they're against two higher power offenses. I think this is a 2-1 game. Nothing like the next game. The next game is at 9.30. It's the Galaxy, the LA Galaxy against Atlanta FC. And I'm going with the Galaxy like I normally do. They're on the money line. They're minus 130. And in this game, Galaxy, high-powered scoring team. If you don't stop them, they will make you pay. I think Atlanta, first part of the game, I think they are going to stop them. I question Atlanta's depth, though. I think this is going to be 3-2, 4-1, somewhere around there. And so I'm going over three and a half goals at plus 140. Yes, you heard me right. Yes, most soccer is the two and a half goal mark. They've pumped this one up to three and a half. You probably need to check this one as soon as you're hearing this podcast, though, because, guys, it's very, very likely that this may go up to four, depending on how many people are actually betting this one. So that's where we're standing in soccer today. So make sure that you are looking forward to soccer episodes coming up. Always check the header of each episode. It will tell you what sports we're going for. So this is just your real quick hockey episode, or excuse me, soccer episode. And I will see you down the road.